Hi, it's Liz Nedden. Let's have a look at doing comparison dot plot and box plot graphs with NZ Graffer. So if we go to our NZ Graffer site, we can start using that. Now there's a number of pre-built in data sets here that we can use. So I, for example, might jump down to the rugby data set. And then I'm going to come down to here where it says graph type. And I'm going to select that and I am going to go and find the dot plot and box plot and whisker graph. So that's the one that I want. Now I need to choose two variables if I'm doing comparison. I need to have one numerical variable and one categorical variable. So the numerical variable, if I look at those, I've got position, so that's word answers, which is a categorical, weight, which is numerical, country, which is categorical, and height, which is numerical. So I need to choose either weight or height of one of those numerical. So let's choose height weight. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to choose a category. So the category I could either do position or I could do country. So let's try and do position. So what we've got now is we've got our backs and our forwards. So these are the different rugby players and their positions. So let's give it a title. I'm going to call this Rugby Investigation. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I am also going to add my weight in kg, put the units there. And I'm going to update that graph. Now I'm going to come to this middle section here and I want to add a summary statistic. So that's our minimum, lower quartile, median, mean, upper quartile, maximum, standard deviation. Don't worry about what that is at the moment and then number, so that's how many data values there are in that group. So I've got 59 backs, and down here I've got 76 forwards. So there's two types of box plots that I could choose to do. So I've got a standard box plot, which that draws it over the top of the data, so that helps you see the connection between the data and the box plot. So the box plot is a summary of the data itself, it's summarising, and it's saying the middle group is all inside that box and it stretches out to here and it stretches out to there. If you prefer, you could do a high box plot instead, so that puts the box plot above the data. It's exactly the same box plot, it's just a different position. Personally, I prefer the one above, but the choice is yours. The next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to have a little play around with this point size because I could bring it all the way to the end and it, you see how these circles, the dots are much larger. If I take it all the way down to the bottom, the dots are tiny. And when I look at it like that, it's really hard to see what shape it is. So I want to find somewhere in the middle where it allows me to see the shape more clearly. So I'm going to go for that one. Um, now those of you that would like a bit of colour, I could for example add on the weights there and that just happens to colour them in from smallest weights to biggest weights and you can see the colours showing up there. It's not necessary but it's an optional if you want to make it look a bit prettier. So all I want to do now is over the graph itself I'm going to right click, I'm going to select copy image and then I'm going to paste that into um, my Word document. Um, and control V and there is my graph all drawn. So thank you very much for watching.